last week we had uh, uh, an emergency situation on the, on the Fort Hill Bridge, Eugene Carter Memorial Bridge, uh, where a full depth hole came in the bridge deck. And it was right at rush hour. And uh, last week we didn't have any access equipment to get under the bridge with. Uh, so we, we did a repair from the top in order to open the traffic as soon as we could get it open. And uh, this week we do have access equipment to access underneath the bridge. So we wanted to get in under there and, and check for areas and make sure that, that everything was sound. And we want to prevent this from happening. You know, we want, to, we want to repair these bridges on our schedule and not the bridge's schedule. And, uh, you know, we want to be able to control the situation and, and have the public, uh, you know, aware ahead of time when we need to close lanes down. So what we hope to do uh, is reach out to a contractor that can get in there and, and, and get the work done quickly. And, and we're doing that right now and, and hoping to hear back from them real soon. So, so uh, when you see the guys out there, that you know, that's what they're doing. They're out there hoping to prevent something like what we had last, last week and in, in that we had to shut down two lanes of traffic coming into Charleston right in the middle of rush hour. When you're doing a renovation, it's different than when you're building from scratch. If anybody's done home remodeling, they can tell you about that. Uh, and that's what we're doing here. We're tearing things out and, and hoping to repair them. Uh, and, and we want, while we're in there, if we find anything uh, that, that we think will be a future problem, we want to get it out and, and repair it and fix it. You know, unless it's an emergency situation, as we always do, we'll, we'll let the public know well in advance so they can plan appropriately. Sometimes work uh, is, a, is, a, is a little inconvenient. You know, if you remodel your kitchen, back to the home remodeling analogy, you know, you may have your cabinets off the walls and your plates on the countertops and, and uh, it's not as convenient as a, as a fully done up, up kitchen, but you know, it's worth it to get your remodeling and to better, to better yourself. So that's the same thing with our highway system, our bridges, our roads. You know, if we're going to work on them, uh, we're going to be inconvenienced. That's just a, a small negative side effect, but in the long run, we're looking at long-term investments, bettering the public for the future. So, so we'll have, all have good roads and bridges to work on. And, and we're not out there at, at seven, eight o'clock in the morning with one lane of interstate coming into Charleston. When you see those signs or you know that people's gonna be working in the area, uh, slow down, pay attention and be alert. Watch the vehicles around you, in front of you, behind you. Uh, you know, don't get in a hurry. Uh, because you're not going to get there any faster anyhow. Uh, but you want to get through the work zone safely and, and, and keep yourself safe, your passengers safe, the people in cars around you safe, and keep our workers safe. You know, that's our work family out there working and, and, and their office is a foot away from 60, 70 mile an hour moving metal. And, and we, we care about these people. They do good work, they do good jobs, and, and they're steel fabricators, welders, and, and we're lucky to have them serving the public and, and keeping us all safe. So, so we care about them and, and the traveling public. So, so, you know, stay slow, stay alert, and, and pay attention.